Hi, this is Tim Wolf, and today I'm going to be talking about how to understand basic music theory without taking any classes. And I've played in cover bands for most of my adult life, and I've been amazed at how many other musicians that I've played with who really have a blank space, a lack of knowledge when it comes to just basic music theory. And even since I moved to Nashville, I've, I've met songwriters who... Uh, don't don't understand basic music theory. And it's not that hard. I mean, people's eyes glaze over sometimes when they think music theory, that's only for those who have master's degree in music. And I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. I'm gonna give you a very short five minute video instruction on what is music theory. So now all it is, is an alphabet. Just like we all learned A, B, C, D, E, F, G when we were like first grade or whatever it is where we get taught the alphabet, all that music theory is, is an alphabet, but it only has seven letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So if you've ever learned Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, a lot of us did as kids, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. And so the Do's are the same note one octave apart. So that's the root, that's the one. And the scale, I'm talking about Western music theory, when we get into Eastern, other, other music that isn't Western, Westernized, which originally came from Europe, Italy, a lot of the words that are used in music theory come from Italy or Italian words or Latin based. When we talk about Eastern, that's a different thing. They use a different framework. So we're talking about Western music theory, which is most of the popular music, all of, almost all the popular music we listen to. And, um, it's basically, uh, so do would be the root, and so it uh, goes up one, you, you can do it by degrees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back up to eight is the same note an octave higher. So of those, so in, in the key of C, which a lot of people start with C because C doesn't have any sharps or flat, incidental, sharps or flats to be in that key. So in the key of C, it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So in between those, there's a specific sequence of notes. I mean, there's a whole step, which is like C. So that is a whole step. That's two frets on the guitar. And then it's another whole step. Or you could play it here. So it's two whole steps and then a half step, which is just uh, one fret, and then it's another whole step. Or another whole step. Now you've done the whole the whole uh, scale. So, and so there's there's two half steps in there between three and four and seven and eight, and that's the basic structure of it. And then when you so in the key of C. It's C, like I said, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And the most important scale degrees of that, when you're writing a song, when you're writing chords, so if you already know chords like C, the, the, the basic three chord song, if you ever heard the saying, country music is three chords and a truth, it's usually a what's considered a one, four, five. So in the key of C, it's C, F, and G. So, it's the one, four, and five. The first degree, the fourth degree, maybe C, D, E, F, and then G is the next one, which is five. So those are the basic chords when you're writing a simple song. Now, to make up that chord, we're talking about the specific chord. So the notes in the C chord are, don't get this twisted, it's different than the, the chord you're using. It's one, three, and five. One, four, and five, once you're in the key, and those are the chords you use, but to make the C chord, it's the three notes, the three main notes. There's other incidentals, uh, like sevenths and ninths and thirteenths, but it's C, E, and G. So it's one, three, and five. So... There's your E, there's your G. That's a triad, it's called a triad. So it's one, three, and five. And then when you play a G chord, 
it is also 1, 3, and 5. It's G, B, and D. And here's your B, and here's your D. So that's in the same thing with F, is F, uh, A, and C. So in these... So it's F, A, and C, which is the one, three, and the five. If you counted it out, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, F, G, A, B, C. So it's F, A, and C. So it's one, three, five. So if you learn those two things, the basic understanding of which chords are in a song. Now, there are other ones added, but those are the main. You could write so many songs, thousands and thousands of songs with just those three chords. And then what makes up each chord is the one, three, and five. So it's the one, four, and five for the chords. And then each chord is the scale degree one, three, and five. So if it's a key of G, it's a G chord, it's the one, three, and five of G scale. And if it's the F chord, it's one, three, and five of F. So maybe a little bit uh, hard to get your mind around it, but it, it really isn't that hard. It's that easy. So I hope this, under, this helped you and it maybe gave you a little bit of understanding. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.